it, everybody? Welcome back to another daily video. In today's video, we are working on my R6, doing a new air filter and then an oil change on it. And I think we might even have some fun ripping this through a little tunnel. So this is a 2007 Yamaha R6. This should be the same for a 2006 to 2016 R6. Uh, the air filter is located in here, so we have to remove the gas tank somewhat. And then to do the oil change, it's really just this one fairing we'll have to take off to drain it and redo that. <laughs> So we've got all those bolts off. Now the whole gas tank kind of rotates back up a little bit, as you can see. There are two bolts now holding this plastic trim piece to the actual metal gas tank. So we're using a 5 16 to get these bolts off. To start removing the air filter, we have a bunch of Phillips head bolts around here. As you can see, the gas tank hinges up, but what we need to do is prop this up because I don't think Mike wants to sit here the whole time holding this gas tank up for me. Uh, what we're gonna do, is take the handle from the stand and with this gas tank up I'm gonna slide this right under here sitting on the frame rail and the bulge of the tank and that is up in the air perfectly so we have all these Phillips heads I can get these off and the gas tank is right out of the way But with this just pull up in the air, we have five screws holding the actual air filter in place. So theoretically, that should pop right out. So with that all out, here is the air filter out of the bike. It's got some dirt on it. It's definitely seen better days. Um, not too bad. Looking at the clean side of it, there's nothing on this back side. So it's definitely still doing its job. So my bike has about 16,000 miles on it. I bought the bike at 12,000. And when I bought it, I just took this air filter out and I used the air hose just to clean it out a little bit. And then it actually has been two years since I've cleaned it last. But with roughly a good four or 5,000 miles on it, I'm gonna go ahead and just replace it. So, and actually in the sunlight, there is a huge difference. Look at brand new and look at not so brand new. That is a huge color difference between the reds. And then even just looking at it this way, wow. So we have bright red and we don't have bright red. I do think I did a pretty good job when I bought the bike just cleaning this one out because it was not like that. And then last year when I did the oil change after owning this bike for one year, I did look at it and it looked pretty good. In all honesty, that was probably one of the most simple air filter changes ever. Um, it looks like there's a lot of work to it, but really not. Just a few bolts, pop that up, take this thing out, and just slide it right out. So that wraps up changing the air filter on the 07 R6. Super, super simple. That is uh, very straightforward. Pretty much with no guidance, you can do this yourself so easily. Uh, next up, we are on to the oil. This is a little bit more of a challenge. We're gonna start with this fairing right here, just a few little Allen heads. We'll take these bolts off. Oil filter sits right here. We'll have to take the shift linkage off, and then the drain plug is uh, down here somewhere. the major work out of the way got the shift linkage off the few bolts in the fairings uh, basically your goal is here to be able to bend this like this because this right here is the drain plug for the oil oil filter sits right there Here's a good look at the color of the oil. It is not dark, that is pretty good. 
Uh, but yeah, that's about 3,500, I think, on this oil change. All right, so next up, it is time to install the new oil filter. This is the KN2041. Same one that I just took out of the bike. Uh, here we go. And actually, this oil filter already has grease on it, so I don't think I'm going to put a little bit of new oil on it. If this bites me in the butt next time around, I will let you know, but we're just gonna pop this thing right on. And then when you're putting on an oil filter, really just hand tighten it. You don't need to go crazy tightening it down. It'll, it'll stay tight when it's on the bike. And then to connect the shift linkage, there is an engraved line that's kind of flat on it. Just line that up the way it was. It's probably going to be about where you left it when you took it off. So time to fill up the bike with the fresh oil. This is 2.75 quarts worth. So onto the last core, we only need 0.75 of this one. So a quarter of it, we're not gonna be using, so I'll just be careful as I fill it up. So that is two and three quarters quarts. That should be perfect. All right, so let it warm up a little bit, just running. Let's see where we are on the dipstick. Should be perfect, hopefully. All right, so we're just past the halfway mark, which I would assume is perfect. And everything is buttoned up. Uh, that is air filter and oil change complete. <laughs> Guys, that wraps up showing you how to do the air filler and oil change on my 2007 Yamaha R6. Pretty straightforward, very simple to do. Uh, overall, air filter was about 45 bucks. All the oil was about 40 bucks as well. So less than 100 bucks, it's really easy maintenance on these things. Uh, one of the biggest things why I love having a motorcycle, they are so cheap and so much fun. Hope you enjoyed the tunnels. Uh, but that is gonna wrap up today's video, another daily video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, give the video a huge thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button. It's a beautiful day, so I'm gonna go riding. See you guys next video.